Hello, I'm Amanda Ramsey, your over 40s makeup expert, and today I'm going to show you how easy, super simple it is to tint your own brows using the 1000 hour lash and brow kit. If you are a little bit fed up with having to go into the salon to do your brows every six weeks, I'm telling you girls, you don't need to. You can totally do this at home. This little brow kit has everything you'll need to tint your own brows and lashes in under five minutes. Plus, you'll want to stay with me for a little bit longer because I've got a nifty little product that will help to groom your beautiful tinted brows every single day and a relaunch product that a thousand hour have brought out that was a crowd favorite. It's back and it will give all of us mature skin beauties a beautiful eye lift. Before you get started, like with any product that is a tint, you want to do a patch test 48 hours before. It comes with step-by-step -step instructions. I'm going to use the gentle plant-based option today. Great for those of you with sensitive eyes. It is dermatologically and ophthalmologically tested. So fine for those of you with sensitive eyes. In medium brown, because I like a strong brow. You've got your tint, your activator, and two different colored spoolies. And there is a method to that madness. Oops. Step one is prep. We're just prepping ourselves ready for the tint. Take a non-oily eye makeup remover on a cotton pad and just gently swipe the eye zone. So there is no makeup and no skincare getting in the way. Part two of prep is to take a Vaseline or some sort of product. Just put that around the outside where we don't want the tint to stay in our skin. I'm just applying a little bit of a product around the outside as a barrier so that my skin doesn't get stained. <laughs> Next step, squeeze two centimeters of the color into the little mixing cup. Take the black spoolie, load up the spoolie and brush the brow hairs upwards. So you're just brushing the tint through the brow hairs. <laughs> going to leave this on for two minutes. There's no mixing, no faff. Just put your two centimeters in the little ready-made pot, dip your spoolie in, brush through. It's that simple. And then you're just going to leave that for two minutes. When your two minutes is up, take a dry cotton round and wipe the color cream off. The pink spoolie and the pink tube is the developer cream. That comes next. Squeeze two centimeters of the developer into the pot, spin your spoolie in there and paint that in the direction of the brow hairs over the top. You can see it developing. Same on the other side and you're just leaving this for one minute. And at the end of your minute, take a damp cotton round, wipe away. And that's it. So the whole process from start to finish, from prepping to finish tinting takes you about five minutes. I've chosen the medium brown color today because I like a bit of a brow look. I like a strong looking brow. If you go, oh, that's a little bit too much for me, too dark for me, fair haired girls, you might want to choose the light brown to blonde. You've got medium brown, dark brown, natural black. So if you want to do your lashes at the same time, you might want to get the black one. You'll get about 12 applications, that's 12 tints, and it will last in anywhere up to six weeks, depending on your skin and your brows. But up to six weeks times 12, 
That's a whole year's brow tinting in one wee packet. Now my brows are freshly tinted, I'm just gonna do a light makeup and then show you how to groom your brows using another Fab 1000 hour product. And stay with me, because I've got a sneaky little lash trick for you as well. Maintaining your brows once they're tinted is using the instant brows from 1000 hour so you've got your clear so when they're really fresh you could probably just use your clear brown mascara light brown blonde medium brown and then your dark brown to black so there's something for everyone when my brows are really freshly tinted I'm going to use the clear brown mascara just to groom and hold them into place take your little itty bitty brow mascara wand and shape your brows now top tip here girls is when you groom your brows up it gives you a bit of an eye lift you know it's not everyone's cup of tea but there's my top tip same on the other side now when my brows the tint starts to wear a sort of over the few weeks next few weeks i'll probably use one of the tinted colors the light brown to blonde This is the sneaky relaunched product from the thousand hour that I wanted to show you. This is the heated eyelash curler. So for all of you girls out there, that are a little bit scaredy pants of an eyelash clamp. This is your new bestie. Comes with a protective cover. You do need to put a double A battery into it. Switch it to on the little temperature gauge will change from blue to transparent when it's heated and ready to roll you just sit it under your lashes for about three seconds to give them a bit of a lift and it's cool because you can get right into the inner corner there and give them a lift as well don't forget these little fluffies on the outside I on some mascara you might have freshly tinted your lashes and you may not feel the need for mascara but i personally love the thickening effect of mascara va va boom hello see the difference i'll do the other side now can you hear the kookaburras they're chiming in going yeah girl we love your new brows and your new heated eyelash curler. I just want to hold it right at the base for three seconds. And I like that you can reposition it and get right into those little ones in the inner corner. Hello, lifted lashes. Whack on a bit of lip liner, bit of gloss. We're ready to roll. Give my lips some shape and fullness. And... Nice slick of gloss. And there you have it. Bright eyed, bushy tailed, bushy browed. It's good, huh? And you've done it all yourself. So tell us in the comments below what you think about the DIY Lash and Brow Kit from A Thousand Hour. And any questions you have, please drop them in the comments below. Like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this and let us know what you think.